talk about this, uh, this Lizzo thing for a second? Did you, did you see what happened with Lizzo? So for those of you who don't know, Lizzo has a, a, a new song out, Girls. Um, it's a really fun song. It's really popular. It's on all the charts and everything. And in, in the song, Lizzo has one of her lyrics where she says, spaz, like we're going to spaz out, you know, which uh, Americans commonly know as means like go crazy, have fun, throw party, whatever. You can use it in, in like multiple different ways, fun ways. Um, what was interesting was that, that somebody uh, tweeted to Lizzo and they said to her, hey, uh, just so you know, um, spaz is a word that is used specifically, uh, you know, it's a derogatory term used to describe people who have uh, disabilities, and they use that commonly in, like, the UK and Australia, you know? And they were like, oh, yeah, this is, this is you know, wh how, I, how I feel about this. And, and then Lizzo, which is really gracious, Lizzo has, has changed the lyric of the song. So she went back, changed the lyric, and she was like, hey, I, I didn't mean to do that, so I'll, I'll change the lyric. Very gracious of her, you know? Yeah. But what was weird is that the story didn't end there. That's the weird thing. What happened since then is people had been piling on Lizzo, shitting on her from the highest heights. Like, people being like, I'm still disappointed in you, Lizzo. This was disgusting from you, and I'm, you've lost a fan, and I don't care that you have changed it. What matters is you said it in the first place, and, you know, for you to use ableist language to offend somebody, you hurt people's feelings. And I was like, okay, like, look, can, can, we, just, can we just pause for a second? I know people on the internet like to engage in conversations that aren't discussions, but really are just like mobs that pile on somebody for not knowing everything about everywhere all at once. But can we, can we acknowledge that Lizzo basically did exactly what society has been asking people to do, yeah. right? She stepped in, she said, oh, this is not what I intended, and so I'm going to change this for you, which is extremely gracious. I will change it for you, not for me, but for you. Because black people in America have been using spaz completely innocuously as a different word. And then I understand that in another country, they use another word and it means something else. Someone finds it offensive. I get, but that happens all the time. You know, in the UK, they use fag for cigarettes. Oh, good luck getting used to that when you're there. <laughs> you just walk around, people are like, oh, can I bum a fag? And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening here? What's happening here? All right? But that's, they're like, no, that's, it, that's not what we mean. And you, you understand that. I, I feel like we're living in a world where people have gotten so used to... to you know, parading as the, the most virtuous or, or as, the, as, the, as the, you know, just like the most righteous person, that they've gone to a point where they make it seem like language has no nuance, language has no context, which is even more important, and then they want to imply that there is some sort of intention on people even when there isn't, right? Of all the people you can come for, all the people, Lizzo is one of the most inclusive, just like, a, like aware, just like loving. She's always trying to bring people into the conversation in her music videos, in her music, in her life. You're gonna shit on her for making, not even a mistake, by the way. I don't even call that a mistake. It's just not knowing how everyone uses every word in every country all the time. I don't call that a mistake. You know, in South Africa, we have, we, we have a word that we say for those kinds of things. It's really simple, we say, Esan. And Esan just basically means like, oh, uh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the thing, you weren't wrong, I wasn't wrong, Esan. Like, it, like something happened that wasn't great, but nobody's almost like to blame for the thing. And so you can have a conversation about it. I don't know what happened. Do we no longer live in a world where someone can say, hey, actually, you know where I'm from? This means that. Oh, I didn't know that. Now that I do, I, I, I'm not going to say it because I'm not trying to do that. Lizzo can't get in a time machine. You know, people are like, she shouldn't have said it in the first place. Yeah, she said it. And she changed it. Now, you, what do you want her to do? I want her, what, to go back in time? And then change her knowledge of... The, what, what do you want her to do? Why are you still piling in on... And what was interesting is I find, I find this so interesting how you have these circles of people who claim to be woke or claim to be whatever, but then they use this as an opportunity to pile on Lizzo now. You know? Now, they come in there and then they're just like, oh, yeah, as a fat woman, oh, yeah, how would you like it if I said you a fat N-word? Well, then I'm like, wait, 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 where's this coming from? So you're using that as an opportunity to just let your misogynoir out. That's what you're doing. You, you've seen an opportunity for you to be shitty to this, this black woman, and now you're like, yeah, I can get her. Be like, no, I'm doing that to defend the disabled community. No, you're not. You're not. You know what I mean? Don't, don't bring it up. You can just say to Lizzo, hey, this was this, and that's, you should be careful, and that's it. 
but don't use it as an opportunity for your shittiness and to try and cloud it in something else, you know? It's like this weird pylon, 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 pylon thing that happens. Words and the context matter. I, I, I really don't think it's healthy for us to be living in a world where people can say or do a thing that they don't know is a bad thing and then we treat them as if they did know that it is a bad thing. You know, there's words that change all over the world. And I'm, I'm not giving blankets. I know some, someone's going to be like, whoa, so what are you saying, Trevor? I can say the N-word and, and it, because I didn't know. The N-word never meant anything else. No one's ever used it another way, you know? It's like back in the day, there was like some country where they're like, oh, a nigger is a warm fire that you can sit by at night to warm your hands. Come and join me by the nigger, family. That's not a thing. So I'm not saying that. The context of words matters. The nuance matters. If you're going to live in a world where people chew you up for trying and chew you up for apologizing and being accountable, even when, in my opinion, Lizzo might be like, I made a mistake. I don't think she did, but I think what she did on top of that was really gracious. She said, you know what? I, you know, she came out and said, I, I wasn't trying to do this, but I'm going to try and make your life a little better. I'm going to try and, and you know, put a bit of balm on this, on this hurt that you have. You know? I think that's amazing. Now the people are still going to pile on her? <laughs> F*** out of here, man. No. Absolutely not.